So, I don't know what person to go with. Natsuki's right. Like, you know, Yuri does cut herself. I'm trying to protect Yuri here, but then if I go with Natsuki, Yuri might just kill herself anyway. And I prefer Yuri to Natsuki, obviously. But, I don't know. Um, tell you what. We're gonna go with Natsuki this time. I'm sorry, Yuri. Oh no. Has it just ignored what I've decided to do? Yeah, it has. Oh. Well, it's gonna come a point where it just gets too zoomed in. Can I just go with Yuri instead then? No? Okay. Oh, hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. Looks like I still have to choose. Oh, look, Monica's here. Screw you, Monica. You actually look really sinister standing in like the dead center in front of the entire game. What have you got to say? Ellipses. Um, hey, Reggit. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Oh, God. Sorry about that. I really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ahaha. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Yeah. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. No! You... You... You made me die! You made Sayori die! You killed Sayori! Screw you! Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Hmm... She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it! I, I believe you. I've no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Reggie, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Ellipses. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something. Don't it's not that. It's not sense. that. I, I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Raggett. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. I really appreciate... Oh, God. Oh, this is wreaking havoc with me emotions. Well, we're going to go in the two keywords. You want to protect Yuri at all costs. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Raggett. Ah, oh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glanced over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologise. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologised. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I'd already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologising, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, Reggie, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. You make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, sorry, what, what am I saying right now? 
I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Ellipses. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly and Itsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. This isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Mizuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologise. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stand under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Oh. Okay. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... Oh. I accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I'm always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Heh. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate... Uh -huh. Oh, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. And Suki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry! Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Ah, well, Matsuki was. I was not! <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, that, doesn't that doesn't make, make any, any sense. sense. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? In the way you prayed music as well, Monica? Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. Well, I can't revise you down below zero credit, Monica. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still. I must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, oh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. I get it. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? Well, in that case, I won't let you down, Reggit. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry, I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club, or just me. That'll be much the club left soon. Shame that's why there's a song called Just Monica. Monica. <laughs>